What's up, Metalheads? I'm Jamie. This is the Blades and EDC channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. If you are one of the more than 50% of the people who watch my videos and are not subscribed, I would greatly appreciate your subscription. Uh, make sure your notifications are turned on also. I upload daily content, sometimes multiple videos per day. And uh, I appreciate your support. If you enjoy this video, hit that like button. That helps the videos get pushed out to uh, new viewers. So thank you guys so much in advance. Today we're going to take a look at a very, very cool knife. I like this knife a whole lot. There's one little slight issue with it I'll point out in a minute, but overall, I really, really like this knife. This is the Spartan Harsey. This is the 3.25 inch version. There's originally a larger version, which, with, which was a uh, 4 inch blade, and then they made the smaller version. And man, mm, does this thing feel good in hand, guys? My goodness, it feels good in hand. Um, man, it's a good looking knife too. Look at that. Titanium frame lock. S45VN blade still. Reversible pocket clip. Tip up right hand or left hand carry. Has a filler tab there for the uh, show side, which looks really good the way they did it. I like the way they went ahead and put their logo on there. You know, used it as a, you know, made it functional kind of. So just leaving an open space there. Something uh, other companies should do. I really liked the way they did that actually. Um, we'll give you the specs on it real quick. We'll do some size comparison. Um, overall length on this one is, oh, sorry, I bumped the camera. Overall length is 7.125 inches. Blade length is three and a quarter. Blade thickness is 125 thousandths. The weight is 2.9 ounces. And uh, S45 VM blade still uh, on washers, has a ceramic ball detent. Titanium pocket clip, all titanium, everything except the pivot is not titanium and the blade and the uh, blade stop. Everything else on this knife is titanium. And man, this thing has good action. Great washer action. Very smooth, especially to be a washer knife. Extremely smooth. Oh, this knife was sent in by Craig, by the way. Thank you very much, Craig. Um, I guess, I think maybe Craig's broke this knife in, but it looks brand new. Maybe he's just fidgeted with it because this is some excellent washer action. Yeah, really nice. So, uh, let's do some comparisons real quick. We'll go ahead and do some stuff that's going to be in that same uh, range. If you're looking at the Harsey, you're probably looking at the Hinder XM18. Very similar length. Actually, very similar similar in more ways than one. I'm actually going to do a versus video between... Uh, I don't know which XM18 I'll use. Probably use this XM18. We'll do a versus video. No, I'll use this one because this one's a frame lock. So keep an eye out for that versus video. We'll be coming soon. And let's go ahead and do another one you'd probably be looking at if you're looking at the Harsey would be the Small Sabenza 31 by Chris Reeves. What a lineup right there, guys. Look at that. Isn't that a thing of beauty right there? Man, I think it's a thing of beauty. Got an overview coming of the XM18. Also, let's keep an eye out for that. How about the uh, Lucas P? Up there in that same price range. By the way, the price on this knife, the Harsey, is $415. This is not cheap. This is not a cheap knife, but it is made extremely well. And it is made right here in the wonderful United States of America. How about the uh, Monterey Bay Knives? Mini Old Guard, another one that would be right there with it. This is Weir Knives, by the way, the Lucas P. I don't think I said that. Yeah, and we'll go ahead and pull out the tactile rock wall. That would be up there. These are all in, although the rock wall is quite a bit cheaper than most of the rest of these. But yeah, let's do some a little more common people will recognize. Well, this one isn't that common, but it's just beautiful. We're going to put it out there. The uh, Urban EDC Vox F5.5. Uh, go ahead and throw out a Benchmade bug out. How about the Yojimbo 2? It's a great size knife. Great EDC size. I've never held the 4-inch version, but uh, yeah, I'd imagine I wouldn't like it. It'd be way too large for me. Here's a Benchmade Mini Freak. 
And let's go ahead and do the spider. Actually, let's do the Demco 80 20.5. A lot of people have this knife. Give you a good idea on the size. And a lot of people also have this knife. Spyderco Para 3. And as always, we will do a QSP Penguin. And one more. One more, we will do the Civivi Elementum. There you go. So that should give you a good idea on the size. As far as thickness goes, compared to a penguin, it's quite a bit thinner than a penguin. I'd say by at least a millimeter or two. So not quite a not quite a bit. A little bit thicker than a penguin. Or thinner than a penguin, excuse me. But not by too much. Just a little bit. A millimeter or two. Um, ergos on this knife are amazing. They are amazing. This thing feels so good in your hand. I mean, it's just a perfect fit for my hand size. Now, if you have a larger hand, I'm a medium size hand. If you have a, a you got big mitts, this may be too small for you, but there is a, a larger version of this. So, um, But the ergos are fantastic. It feels so good in hand. There's not a hot spot anywhere that I feel. It just feels good everywhere. Um, I like the way they use the pivot as an over travel stop. You see how they did that there? So it acts as your over travel stop. Very, uh, very interesting design. I like that. Very, uh, they were thinking about everything with this one. Um, the, the one issue I have with this knife is the lock bar. It's pretty tight in there, right? And this, the uh, lock bar is slightly above the show side scale. It's so little, I don't even know if I can get it to show up on camera or not. Aim this light a little differently here. But it sticks up maybe a millimeter above the show side. And then it's really sharp right there, guys. Really sharp. So it's kind of tight and it's a little bit sharp. It's not terrible. Um, you can get used to it. Yeah, it's not bad. It's just, it's a little tight. I and mean, you see how they milled out the uh, scales here and here for access to the thumb studs. And they didn't really leave them anything left to mill out the inside to give you more access, right? It's already pretty thin right there, so there's really not much more they could do to uh, give you more access. The only thing I would think they could do would be to bring this show side down a little more to let you get in there a little better. But it's not terrible. I can easily get it. It's just not the most comfortable lock bar I've felt. Uh, the thumb studs are really good. Um, placed perfectly. And with the mill, how they milled that out, it's perfect right where it needs to be. So your thumb will hit or if you're reverse flicking, your middle finger gets to the thumb studs very easily. Pocket clip works extremely well in and out of the pocket. It is not a deep carry clip, obviously, but I do believe you can get deep carry clips if you want to get one for one of these. Has the arrow there in the clip like all the Spartan knives do. Man, good looking knife too. Three ounce, under three ounces for three and a quarter inch blade, a titanium frame lock. That's really good. Very impressive on the weight. So light. And the Ergos are really the star here, man. Well, the action's a star too, but the Ergos are phenomenal on this little knife. They really are phenomenal. Really, really good. Detent perfection. They've nailed it on the detent. Especially for thumb stud action. So good. I can fell this knife, but maybe. It's on washers too, keep that in mind. And I'm trying to fell it right now. Okay. Actually, I think I hit my finger up here. Let me do that again. Keep my finger out of the way. <laughs> Maybe I can't fell it. Yeah, I don't know if I can fell it. Try the reverse flick. Yep, there we go. You can fell it, but for washer action, that is impressive, man. That is extremely impressive. Normally, a washer knife is very easy to fell. But this one is just, yeah, it's so good. Did a great job on this knife. It's expensive, but you are getting quality with this one, guys. This thing is gorgeous. Everything about it looks good. It's all done really well. Action's amazing. Um, 
And yeah, if you're in that, you know, in the market for something like a Sabenza, if you're in that price bracket of knives, made in the USA knives, or the uh, XM18, I would definitely say the Harsey is worth taking a look at for sure. Um, yeah, extremely well done. And there will be a versus between these two knives coming soon. So keep an eye out for that. All right, guys, I think that's going to wrap it up. I will link this knife below. As far as I can find, the only place that's selling this is Spartan Blades. And they currently do have these in stock. There's uh, like 16, I think they said, was in stock on their website. I'm not affiliated with them or anything. doesn't matter to me if you buy the knife or not. White Mountain Knives did have the regular ones, which I believe they're all sold out. I don't think they ever even carried the three and a quarter inch version. So the only place I can find it at the moment is Spartan's website. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.